Being in road toenail infection affects our quality of life. I mean, admit it. Sometimes we cannot wear our perfect shoe or perfect sandals because our toenails hurt. So, hey guys, welcome back. For today's video, I will be talking about why do we get ingrown or ingrown infections or a better term for it is onychogryposis. So if you're interested to know why do we get it and of course when you know why do we get it, how do we get it, you would eventually learn how to avoid having it. So if you're interested in that, stick around and watch. So I believe that the reason why you're watching this video is because you yourself have had an experience of having an ingrown toenail infection. So rest assured that after this video, you'll be able to at least alleviate your situation or deal with it and be able to resolve it. So first things first, let's go over the semantics. Having an ingrown toenail does not mean that it's infected. In fact, an ingrown toenail is a nail condition that a lot of people have. And they may have an infection and they may not have an infection. So what I'm trying to say is ingrown, from the word itself ingrown, the perinicum, which is the side of the nails, yung gilid ng kuko in Tagalog, is growing towards the lateral nail folds or the side walls of the nail. So if in layman's terms, it means that it's growing inward. And if you would look at your toenail, I'm going to show a picture here. It's more concave than usual or it's shaped like a claw, claw-type nail. We also say it like a claw-type nail. So having claw-type nail is not bad. In fact, a lot of people have it but don't have an infection or an ingrown toenail infection. You can have that too as long as you manage your claw-type nail. So let's get to it. So the first reason why we have an ingrown toenail infection is because number one, uh, we cut the sides of our nails. So ito yun, this is what we call gilid ng kuko. For example, if you can imagine that this is your toenail, you cut this part, okay, this part. So when you do that, when you cut that part of your nail, you immediately expose the sides of your nails. I'm sorry, but I didn't have a manicure yet. So you immediately expose this side of your nail. So the immediate body reaction to that is that this side, this is the lateral nail fold, it will engulf this side and try to cover the exposed part. So if you can imagine that your nail that has been cut exposed some flesh here because it was cut by your nail technician, the side here, this side wall here or the lateral nail folds will try to cover it and engulf it like that. So what happens when that occurs, okay? The shortest cut here, the one that's been cut, will grow this way, upwards. It has nowhere else to go, but it will grow upwards. Now, when it does grow, the side nail that engulfed that part would be hitting it. So that's where pain occurs. So again, each of the nail parts of the na nail anatomy has its purpose. And the purpose of the perionicium or the sides of the nails is to cover our flesh, the fingernails flesh. Why? To cover it from dust, particles, bacteria, and everything. So when we cut the sides of our nails, we are immediately exposing ourselves to those um, particles, to those bacteria, to anything. And so the body's initial reaction is to close up that exposure. So the side walls will engulf the nail. Do you get it? Please comment below if you've got it so far. The next reason why we get to ingrown toenail infection is because our nail technician wounded us without us realizing it. It happens even to the best of the best nail technicians. And sad to say, um, not a lot of clients realize that they've been wounded already until we spray sanitizer or alcohol on your toenail. 
So, when that happens, immediately, a first aid should be done by the nail technician. Another reason why we get ingrown toenail infection is, aside from the fact that our nail technician wounded us, they have been using unsterilized tools and equipment. So that actually, again, once this one is exposed, because they cut the nails in the side, and then they wounded us, and then third is they got... <laughs> They, they used unsterilized tools, so that means they got us infected with certain bacteria. So, you know what's gonna happen. An infection is about to happen. So, another reason why we also get ingrown toenail infection is there is just too much dry skin deposits that is stuck in the cut perineum in the side, side nails that has been cut and it has been pushing to our flesh. So when that happens, when too much pressure is uh, being done or is happening in our lateral nail folds, in the toenail section, um, inflammation happens. So when inflammation happens, then there is something that must be done. Now, the first thing that a nail technician would actually check on this if there's a wound, because if there's no wound, meaning there's no pus that's happening there, then that means it's just a uh, dry skin buildup. So I guess I've covered all the reasons why we have an ingrown toenail infection. So in retrospect, we have to realize that having ingrown toenails is actually not bad. I myself have clot-type nails, but I don't have onychogryposis, which is an ingrown toenail infection you know the reasons why we get an ingrown toenail infection i'm pretty sure you want to know how we can avoid these things or what is the first thing that we can do at home to relieve the pain because basically having ingrown toenail infection affects our quality of life i mean admit it sometimes we cannot wear our perfect shoe or perfect sandals because our toenails hurt so much so if you're interested to know how to avoid that and how to uh, rectify this that situation at home i'll be discussing that on my next nail vlog so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next vlog for this discussing part. it on the part two of this nail 101 topic on onychogryposis or ingrown toenail infection you have questions suggestions or comments just write it down below and I'll be happy to answer them you want me to do an actual demo on how I treat uh, ingrown toenail infections then comment it down below I'll be, be happy to show it to you so that you'd have an idea how we at celebrity nails handle situations like this but of course our nail technicians are thoroughly trained with that so that's why what I'll be showing you is just snippets on how we rectify the situation so anyway thank you so much for watching I hope to see you in my next vlog and to be able to do that I hope you have already subscribed Bye.